What's going on? So listen, you see this title like, wait a minute, Luke had a vision of a what, of a who, of a where, did a how? Well, in The Last Jedi novelization by Jason Fry, good New York kid, by the way, so he was tasked with writing the novelization of The Last Jedi, and it opens up. The first thing we basically see is Luke on Tatooine, and you're like, wait a minute, what? And then it says, well, he's there with his wife, and you're like, wait what? a minute, what? So Luke opens up with his wife wife his brand new wife. is it mara jade there's mara jade is she in it nope this is the luke this isn't 19 year old luke on tatooine this is a the same luke that we know that is going to be on Oct two with the full grizzled beard what's happening he is uh he's living a life that uh his uncle and uh aunt Beru set up for him essentially he's a moisture uh farmer he has a wife and he's living a very desolate kind of boring existence on tatooine yeah bringing up his wife but then you start to read more and there's some interesting things happening some alternate history starts happening yeah the vision itself is pretty interesting because they did get the droids and then r2 did run off, he did see the vision of Princess Leia, didn't know what it, exactly what it was, what had happened, right. and then R2 goes off, he goes out, this is where it gets interesting, he goes out to find R2, and he finds him. No sand people, doesn't happen. No Obi-Wan Kenobi. No, brings him back, and then the stormtroopers come, mm -hmm. they take the droids away, mm -hmm. and then we find out that Leia was executed. Yeah. Um, there's and and so Luke was is just left there, and he sees Ben once or twice again, but never saw him ever again. The, with a rumor coming up years later that there was an explosion in the Younglin Waste, getting rid of essentially getting rid of Obi Wan Kenobi, the Emperor, or the Empire, getting rid of Obi Wan Kenobi. Right. So the in this version, and the Empire wins basically, mm -hmm. still takes control. Obi-Wan is gone, Leia is gone, the droids never succeeded, and it was basically what Luke would have been, the Luke that we see in The Last Jedi, what his life would have been, and there's always this constant need for something else, something different, something better, but it was it, it was very interesting to see what he, he ultimately becomes that in The Last Jedi, except with force powers that he turned off. Yeah, and, and it's interesting because he says in his kind of inner monologue of this book is that he shut the force off, but it's snuck in there with this vision to tell him something. And yeah. he basically says something's coming. And it's almost like if Luke didn't get involved in the first place, this is what would have happened. Leia would have been assassinated or uh, executed for treason. Obi-Wan Kenobi would have been wiped off the face of the, the planet. The droids would have failed. Who knows what happened to it Han Solo? It showed how big not only that Luke was and how important he was the first time around. Yeah. It's, it shows essentially how important he's going to be the second time around. That's right. It, this is a really nice opening. It, 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 I, I really enjoyed it. I did that. You gave me the book, and I went, what? Thinking it might be his past well, life before. I went, what? Yeah. And But it really is nice because you think about what The Last Jedi meant, the spark of hope. That's what Luke Skywalker represented. This is the force telling him that if you didn't get involved at the very beginning, things would Palpatine have been so would different. would still be around. Your dad would have never turned back. So it was. Right. It was. It was like that. It, it was. What was the one that you that comic you used to, in Legends? That you Dark used to Empire. So Dark Empire. It was like that version, but this is like the canonized version of that. Very short, but then it leads into the events that you know from the. the yeah, he the wakes book. up from a dream. Yeah. Basically. So that's what this video was all about. It was very interesting. I tweeted about it right away because I thought it was a fascinating way to start um, and get you hooked on basically the journey, the overall journey and the overall arc of Luke Skywalker. So I'm going to finish reading this book, this novel, the novelization here by Jason Fry, because I think that he understands kind of the vision of what was meant and the timeline from Luke all the way back from episode four leading up to now. So I enjoyed this passage. I thought it was pretty good. I, I love this passage because it really resonates with me with the ending of The Last Jedi. It shows more Luke. It gives me a nice, interesting introspective of what some of the things Luke might have been thinking, th some of the things that have haunted him over the years, and the Force basically telling him, you done, you've done the right thing. Look at what a, your life would have been like had you not gotten involved to begin with. I agree. Good to see you, Christian. For Riley and for Christian, this has been a little snippet of The Last Jedi as I look off to this knucklehead as he walks off. What do you guys think about this? Like and comment on this video and drop in what your thoughts are on this. Are you going to go read the book? Are you going to read this prologue and come tweet at us? Do it. We want to hear from you. So does Christian, even though he's walked out of the room. So like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Collider Video. Well done, idiot. Shut up.